Now to a story about a government program created in the aftermath of 9-11. Ten years ago tomorrow, Congress created the Department of Homeland Security. And every year, that department gives out grant money to local law enforcement agencies. But a soon-to-be-released report questions whether all that money is really making America any safer. Keene, New Hampshire is a small, quaint New England town, so it seems strange to City Councilman Terry Clark when the police department decided it needed an armored vehicle like this, called a Bearcat, to fight terrorism. I couldn't imagine uh, what they meant. What did they list as potential terrorist targets? <laughs> well, the pumpkin festival that we hold every October, it's held right here. They in have, the town square? In the town square. Does it get out of control, the pumpkin festival? Although it wasn't the only thing they cited, the festival was a big part of their argument for the $286,000 Bearcat. But it turns out Keene didn't have to foot the bill. U.S. taxpayers did. All across the country, law enforcement departments are getting the latest in military-style equipment, from armored cars to flying drones. Republican Senator Tom Coburn of Oklahoma had his office follow the money and release the findings exclusively to NBC News. How much money are we talking about? Over a period of years, billions. Billions of dollars. Mm -hmm. Nearly $35 billion over the last 10 years, all from Homeland Security grant programs meant to help communities fight terrorism. Coburn's report says taxpayers have paid for things like a $45.6 million surveillance camera system in Chicago that doesn't work, a $6.2 million program to read license plates in California, and $6,000 for snow cone machines in Michigan. They said they could make ice in case of an emergency. Do you blame communities for abusing the system? I, we have created a culture in our country that says... You don't have to stand on your own. The federal government will come in. And the federal government's all of us. No, I don't blame communities. I blame members of Congress. Craig Fugate is the head of FEMA, which distributes the grants. He says the vast majority are helping to make America safer, but acknowledges there have been some hard-to-explain decisions. What was happening, though, was we were trying to build preparedness by saying each jurisdiction determine what you need to do to get better prepared. But we weren't really basing that upon what are the threats nationally. Because they're Back in Keene, New Hampshire, Councilman Terry Clark tried to block the Bearcat. I just thought that was unconscionable, and I couldn't be a part of it. But Clark lost the battle. The Bearcat arrived in Keene just this week, too late for this year's pumpkin festival. FEMA says the Obama administration is pushing to change the rules for the way those grants are distributed. Meantime, Senator Coburn's report on the grants is expected to be released next month.